ship that's not meant to crash. Sit Didn't down. they check their history books? Just hold tight. Hang on. Get those things out of my face. And keep them away from me. Impact. Three thousand. We're coming in too steep. I'm losing power. Reverse Three thrust. Thousand. Give me all the power you've got. I, don't. I need that power. Dr. Crowback, thrusters are overheating. Get us over Dawson Ridge and you'll have a sea of sand. That's our only chance. Forward thrust. Got it, Commander. <laughs> We're all gonna die. We're at maximum power. You'll burn out the thruster. Bring her up. You're melting the ignition circuit. Drive. I'm onto it. Commander, silicon trench. A thousand meters. That sand can save us. Fire down. Bring the nose up. Eight hundred. Report. Sam? Someone get me some light and secure the fuel rods. Yes, I'm working on it. They reckon Commander, we're all okay. Jared, you're right. Fine. Samantha, report. Commander, over here, I need some help. Let me through. Sam, what's happened? Gently. Is she all right? Sam? What are they doing in there? Taking forever. Don't worry. Sam's as tough as they come. She'll be fine. Is she all right? Can I see her? No, don't worry too much. She um, she looks much worse than she is. Is she asleep? No, 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 no. She's sedated, that's all. She, she needs a bit of a rest. She'll be fine. I want the truth. I'm not a 12-year-old. Well, we know she's got a broken leg. Um, we've treated that. The, the problem is she may have a very serious head injury. I'm so sorry, Jared. We'll just have to wait until help arrives. Come on. She's our sister. Can't we stay? We have to let her rest. First, it's head injuries. Now Krabak's talking about bone fragments scraping against her arteries. They're doing the best they can. Doc will look after her. He builds spaceships. And not very good ones at that. He's got some medical knowledge. This isn't just a scratch you can fix with a first aid kit. We need to get Sam to a real doctor. Help will be here soon. And if it's not, we can't take that chance. Come on, Walter. Don't Did move a muscle. Rest. There's nothing more I can do with communications down. You can't wait any longer. I mean, what if there's an infection or a hemorrhage? We need to do something. Doc, what do you think? Well, uh, as far as I can tell, we're here. Now, that's, um, that's three or four days' walk from Mars Central. Look, you'd never make it. You, you, you'd die from hypothermia or you'd suffocate or, or probably both. <clears throat> Enlarge. But according to company records, there's an old hydration plant here. Probably a few kilometres. I have to think of everyone's safety, not just Samantha. I can do it. Look, think about it. We've got... We got... 14 hours and still no search and rescue mission. I'd say nobody knows we're here. How many hours daylight would you have? Um, three hours maximum. If you're caught out there after dark, we're going to need an ice pick to find your pulse. Oh, so we're wasting time. Sam needs a doctor. One condition. Someone goes with you. Someone I can spare. The hydro plant was set up ages ago to produce air and water. Martian Atmos regeneration on a grand scale. Thermal suits, battery packs, and you're going to need full face protection. It'll only slow us down. Our best chance is to travel light and move fast. 
We'll use these for oxygen supplement. You've got enough oxygen for four hours. Three and a half if you overdo it. <sighs> we'll take it easy. Well, not too easy. You haven't got much leeway. As soon as you get there, contact Mars Central. Transmit our coordinates. I'd move much faster if I didn't have someone else to worry about. The condition stands. You go as a team. You work as a team. You ready? We're wasting time. I'm ready when you are. Did you know 80% of Mars is unexplored? Which means there could be any number of psycho aliens out there. Yeah, well, if we find one, we'll bring one back as a pet. Here we go. That's the ship's coordinates. Activated. Good luck to you. Thanks, Doc. Now, you look after Sam, all right? And you look after her. All right, let's go. Take care. Keep in contact as long as you can. Careful. Watch out for aliens. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm still deciding your fate. Look, I'm really grateful for your help, all right? Can you do what I say when I say? No arguments from me. Here, take one of these. It'll keep your body salts up. You can top 50 out here. Thin atmosphere, no natural insulation. Hot during the day and freezing at night. The Martian climate lesson can wait. Just try and keep up with me. Hey, you don't have to worry about me, all right? Look, I've had the training. You haven't. Yeah. I seem to remember it didn't go too well at times. While we're busy in here, you can keep in touch with them. And I understand you know something about computers. I'll do whatever I can. Good. Keep me informed. Report? Well, the bioskin is remarkably intact. And the superstructure? <laughs> they laughed at me when I tabled my designs. And we're still checking the computers. Keep at it. News Kumi. Commander? I, I think we all owe you. you. You did a remarkable job under the circumstances. Dead birds fall out of the sky, not state-of-the-art technology. I want to know why your computers dumped us on Mars. Hmm? Jared, slow down. Pace yourself. I am. Keep us up and you'll dehydrate. We both will. So drink some water. And then you'll get cramped. What good will that do you, sister? Kimiko, come in. Do you read me? Come in. You reading me? We're getting a clear signal. How is she? Is she all right? There's still no improvement. Anna's with her. I'll keep in touch with you for as long as I can, until you're out of range. I don't know how long that's going to be. Over. So you're really serious about all this nature eco stuff? I mean, do you want to make a career out of it? Fastest growing industry. Probably said that about computers once. Walter. That is a pest. I don't like pests on my ship. Which brings me to your precarious position. You'll need a bigger ruler. Once communications are restored, I look forward to having a little chat with your mother about the possibility of dispatching you to a Martian boarding school. <sighs> Sentenced to life on Mars? At least you went quickly. You're a good friend and companion. Jared, those coordinates put you on a direct route to the hydration plant. I hope this thing's accurate. It all looks the same to me. Come, Michael, let's move. I'd watch your step if I were you. Jared, watch your step. Especially around here. Is Michael okay? Volcanic dust collects in pockets of compacted iron oxides. What are you talking about? Dust pools. Jared, is Michael all right? He's fine. He has to be. He's reciting textbook geology to me. Over and out. What is it with you two? What's what? You know, you and Kumi. Was there something between you while you were back on Earth? We're just friends, all right? And mind your own business. Just ask him. Poor Walter. If you ask me, dents an android. Makes sense. Totally heartless. Can we get on with it? What do you say for a dead cockroach? 
I say good riddance. A friend and comrade. Struck down and left to rot on Mars. Well, Dent's not going to dump me here. Abe, it's not that bad. I've seen pictures. Mars Central looks like a giant shopping mall. So you stay. Maybe I will. Take it easy, will you? Just a little bit at a time. Geez, I hope the doc knew what he was talking about. We should have seen the place by now. Maybe not. First plants they built were subterranean. It was all underground. We could be looking for a door. A door. In the desert. Great. Jared, stick to the ridges. Jared! Hold still! Don't come any closer! Jared? Just, just hold on, try not to move! Jared? Michael! Jared, what's going on? Stay still, don't move! Jared, what's happening? Hurry up, Michael! Jared? Help me! Don't move! You struggle, you'll sink. Answer me. Just keep as still as you can. Come on, Michael. I'm trying. I'm trying. What's going on? I don't know. Michael, answer me. Stay still, don't move. In a few seconds, I'm going to be swallowing the desert. Now get me out of here. Jared, please answer. Stretch. Uh, Further. Uh, Throw it again. All right, all right. Michael, hurry up, I'm slipping. We can't help you if we don't know what's going on. Aliens. They're being ripped to pieces. Michael, help me! Jared! Jared, hold on! Might be better if you go and look after Samantha. Oh, I want to stay. Uh, uh, Respond. Come on, Jared. I'm not having you on my conscience. Uh, uh, One more! Uh, uh, that's it. Can you hear us? Respond. We're okay. I thought I was gonna die. Don't mention it. <coughs> Did you notice anything? The sun. This time we stick to the ridges. No argument from me. Now, Matt! If it was an alien, well, the thing you do is, Jared would know this, is you jab it in the eye, and while it's still momentarily blinded, you whack it over the head, then run like stink. You don't have to worry, they're safe. And we'll soon be able to get Samantha to a med lab. Thank you. I knew Jared could do it. I told you everything would be fine. Well, apart from the bit about your sister being stuck on Mars. All right, I want and some me, possibly. I, want some answers. I reckon when the Big Bang happened, they made Mars out of the leftovers. Kumi! Kumi, can you hear me? Kumi, it's Jared! Kumi! She can't hear me. We must be out of range. So what do you want to do? We can't stay out here, we'll die. We can't turn back, there's not enough daylight. Signal strength zero. There's nothing we can do for them now, they're on their own. Sorry. Kumi, I wouldn't have let them go if I didn't think they could make it. We can make a shelter. No, we'll freeze. Well, what then? I say we head this way. Take our chances. And not that way. All right. Well, the hydro plant produces water, right? And to do that, it needs solar power and lots of it. So it'd have to face north. That doesn't make any sense. You can face north from any spot on the planet. Well, I guess we follow this then. It's got to lead somewhere.
the only way. We climb across. That way. This mightn't be a good time to bring this up, but... I really hate heights. What? Look, height only exists if you look down. Okay? Let's go. Maybe we could go around. No time. No way. If you fall, then I fall. Look, it works both ways. I'm not leaving you here by yourself. Well, then we go without the rope. All right. <gasps> Careful! It's condensation. Temperature's dropping. You know, every second we wait, it gets worse. Keep your eyes on me. You realise if I fall, you'll be carrying me home in a bucket. Come on. better now that you're awake. How's Jared? You're doing fine. Just keep moving. That should be obvious even to you. What? What's that at the bottom of the gorge? Don't look down! <sighs> All right, coo me then. I'm sorry I needled you. Forget it. I've made a decision. I can't leave Sam on her own. But she won't be on her own. There's doctors and nurses. It's not the same. You'll be fine. Okay? <laughs> Michael! Michael! Pull yourself up! Use your weight! Swing yourself up! I can't! Yes, you can! You can do it! Swing! 
Okay, just slide along. You're almost home. I'll talk you across. That's it. You're doing fine. Just one bit at a time. Keep your eyes straight ahead. You want to go back and do it again? Sure. Just asking. You know that bit about seeing a white light before you die? Yeah. Don't believe a word of it. No, I don't. Navigation, auto guidance, everything. The whole system's been corrupted. Not damaged or destroyed, it's been corrupted. I've got colonists waiting on our cargo. Can it be fixed in time? Well, everything will have to be reprogrammed. We'll work night and day. How long will it take? <clears throat> Six days, maybe seven. You reckon these places were automated? I thought they were. So who owns the nightmare wheels? Ferals, maybe? Or a psycho hydro technician? Check this out. Big on housekeeping. 